Hello pals and welcome to another vlog. It is currently three past five in the morning. You know I like to get up early, not this early. This entire week after we got back from the UK, I've been driving with my brother to work in the morning because my parents are out of town and it's a bit of a hassle, um, the entire situation. I have to drive to work at half six. So I have my alarm between 5 and 5.30 in the morning. And this morning, I woke up without my alarm at 5 to 5. How did I wake up without an alarm at 5 to 5? But anyway, I am now going to go and make some breakfast and also some food for when I come back after having driven him because I'm making something that has to be in the fridge for quite a bit so I'm going to go do that. I also desperately need some coffee which ties into the reason that I actually have my alarm for so early compared to when we are going because the first day that we went to half six I woke up at like five past six and I swear I almost fell asleep in the car. I was so so bloody tired and obviously that's not the best idea so i'm just gonna avoid that and get up earlier so that i have some time to actually wake up before we are going but now breakfast awaits and i'm very 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 excited about it now and I've just gotten back from dropping my brother off at work and I have stuff to do today. Uni stuff to do today. I need to do some work on my dissertation. I have a Skype meeting on Monday and I know nothing about anything. So I'm gonna read a heck load of articles today and since I'm doing or possibly doing my dissertation on like accounting standards and accounting principles in Norway in the UK and I know nothing about accounting principles and standards in Norway I need to go to the library however really annoyingly since the library is on my way from dropping off my brother at work it's still closed it opens at nine so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go straight at nine or if I'm gonna wait for a bit I guess it depends how I get on with work here but yeah so I'm very exciting I've terrified of the Skype meeting like I hate phone things and Skype things unless it's like you know with a friend I am terrified that's mostly what I planned to do to be honest I was going to do a little bit of cleaning like literally just clean out like one side of the cupboard but we will see because you need things kind of take priority of that because that's not like that big of a deal so yeah I'm now going to I think download the articles as pdfs and like put them on my ipad so i can annotate them in good notes like i do my powerpoints and everything i think that is how i'm gonna do it i also have them all in mendeley which i really like as like an app to organize all your articles and like your references and shit like that I also have a lot of things saved in pocket but that's more like web pages and just like newspaper articles and stuff like that so i need to have a good look at all my information because there's a heck load and I will try to keep you updated so prepare for some information about accounting principles and standards. Pro tip, don't do your dissertation on a topic from a country where you don't know any of the jargon for the area you're doing it in because it's a pain in the butt, okay? <laughs> I know no accounting words in Norwegian, but still I am doing my dissertation in something pertaining to Norway. So I need to go to the library today to get a book on Norwegian accounting things. I've also been reading and like this is complicated to the point where I had to make a mind map just to get my head around it, who were doing what and what each thing was. And then in Norwegian there's this thing where like you don't separate words. Like bus stop would be one word. Is there one word in English? It might be. So basically the Norwegian Accounting Standards Board in Norwegian is one word. That entire it's one word and it's pissing me off honestly I'm just like why there's so many things that just annoys me 
so much. Ugh. But anyway, I'll stop complaining at you. I've done an hour's worth of research now, which is good. Trying to like get my head around what is going on, which is something that I need to do because we must go for meeting on Monday. I also had my oatmeal. It was really good, it was really tasty. But I find that oatmeal quite quickly gets too much for me. Like I'll just feel unwell and I won't be able to finish it. So I think I'll have to go for a smaller portion next time. I might also heat it because it was overnight oats. So they were just in the fridge, but the recipe said that you can heat them when you take them back out. So I might do that next time. We'll see, I'll report back. But yeah, it's half nine now. So the library's open. So I'm thinking I might just go to the library as soon as possible because why wait? I think I'm just gonna do that. I'll let you know how I get on with the dissertation research. So congratulations to me. I studied for an hour and a half and didn't film any of it. Woo -woo. But it turns out that I can in fact borrow books from this library. So woo -woo. I can prepare for my dissertation. Great. I've just gotten home and I don't think I'm going to Pilates today because I've been out driving like the exact same place with twice today and I was like, I just can't be asked. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of yoga and then maybe even biking. I don't know, we will see. <laughs> but anyway, I am in way of my head when it comes to um, accounting in Norwegian because I know nothing. And you know, I both have the immense language barrier and the fact that the legal system is completely different and the accounting standard system is completely different and like everything is a mess and I'm just like, <laughs> help. It would be good when my parents come back on Sunday because they're both accountants so maybe they can help me understand but for now I have three massive books oh, well two massive books and one tiny book but for next year happy about that now I'm gonna do some yoga and then I'm gonna see what I do about the rest of the workout situation as you can see I am all showered and fresh I've just been chilling on my bed for a while recuperating after that workout having some water I'm gonna have some grapes then dinner is probably gonna be in like half an hour, 45 minutes because I'm just waiting for my brother to get home before we start making it. Today has been a pretty good day. It's been really nice and like sunny outside. I haven't been outside to enjoy it too much because we've been working inside, but that just lifts my mood so much. And then I've made plans to meet Hege this weekend, which always makes me hella happy. And I found some books and I was able to borrow the books and like, it all sounds so stupid, but uh, it's not promise. But yeah, so it's been a pretty good day. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I might do some more work after dinner, just like some more reading, some more researching. I have done six Pomodoros today, which I'm really, really hyped about. I feel like I haven't done uni work for literally ages though, so it's probably high time that I'm getting on it, but I'll keep you updated on my productivity. just saw was two more Pomodoro's worth of me being heckin' confused. It is difficult to research something when you don't know what exactly you're researching for because I haven't figured out my dissertation question yet so I'm just trying to like teach myself everything at this point and it's not going super well so that's fab. Also just had a lovely FaceTime with Edie, my American friend. We have a habit of doing that, just both of us like being on FaceTime and doing completely other things. The other day we actually FaceTimed for six and a half hours and in the meantime I was reading basically the whole time. She was filling out student finance applications so you know we it's a great it's a great transatlantic friendship let's just put it like that. But now it's like halfway so I'm gonna have some food and then I'm gonna start getting ready for bed because lol, lol, lol getting up early tomorrow again yay. Last day of this week though and then 
before next week my parents are back so they might be driving my brother at least some days so woohoo I'll be free but yeah I hope you've enjoyed the vlog I've had a great day so I hope you've had a great time watching it and if you want to see more vlogs hit the subscribe button and they will pop right into your subscription box like when I upload which is usually Wednesday and Saturday so snappy no accurate yes also if you did like the video and you like vlogs make sure to give it a thumbs up so i know and as always i'm very open for video suggestions down in the comments and with that said i am gonna head to bed so good night